So you may have heard the term before, end-stage kidney disease, or ESKD. People at this stage of kidney disease typically need dialysis, which is the artificial cleaning uh, of your blood. But what does the term end-stage actually mean? At this point, I mean, do your kidneys actually work? Um, do you even pee at all? On today's episode, what is end-stage kidney disease? What's up, San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Butt, and I'm a kidney doctor, and I'm here to break down health in a simple way. Now, do me a favor, hit up that like and share button. It'll really help me out. Now, ESKD, or end-stage kidney disease, essentially is the late stage of kidney disease, stage five, when your kidneys are about to go into complete failure. This typically is defined when your kidney function gets below, say, 15% or so. And at this point, you may still be urinating, but the kidney function is not enough to sustain your life. At this point, you may develop symptoms like weakness, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, decreased appetite, shortness of breath, and leg swelling. Now, before this point has been reached, you should have had some major discussions with your doctor. Typically around, say, kidney function around, say, 20%, the doctor should have brought up two major things. One, a referral to a kidney transplant center, and two, the type of dialysis you want to actually start, at home or in a center. Once these two things are decided upon, a referral can be made to a surgeon to, uh, to help create a dialysis access, typically either in the arm or the belly. Now this is done to help lead to something called an optimal start, which is a nice gradual initiation of dialysis done on your time, uh, on your time and the doctor's time. Now there are over 700,000 Americans with the diagnosis of end-stage kidney disease and about 500,000 of them are on dialysis. Now, only 10 to 15% of those people on dialysis are actually done at home. But that's the biggest push right now in Medicare and insurance and in healthcare as a whole is to get more people to do, to do dialysis at home. Crazy fact, the two biggest causes of kidney failure in the United States are diabetes and high blood pressure. Those two diagnoses account for over 65% of the people on dialysis. And lastly, can I still pee at this stage? Well, interestingly enough, Yes, some dialysis patients do retain the ability to make some urine, although usually the quantity of the urine is less than before they started dialysis. But even if they still do, the kidney's filter filtering capacity is not enough to sustain life. At this stage, the kidneys are like shrunken pr prunes, if you will, and where most of the healthy kidney tissue has been replaced with scar tissue. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. Oh, you got something to say? Please leave comments in the comment section below. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.